Okay, we are live now. I see the audience starting to join us and are signing in in the audience chat box again for your pesticide um, uh, CEU credits and CCA credits. So thank you for joining us. Um, we are live now for questions and answers from the audience and questions from the audience and answers from uh, Mr. Rad Yeager. And before we get started with the questions, I just again want to thank you, Rad, for doing this presentation, taking time, sharing your expertise with us to, um, to help us learn more about um, precision ag and how that relates to citrus. And rather than come back in the end uh, to remind everyone, this presentation will be available to you until April 30th of this year. So you'd sign back in if you have any questions. If you missed a slide and you want to go back and review it, you can do that. It's, it's a wonderful thing to be able to go back and, and review these different presentations. And also, um, Rad, I believe your contact information was provided on your slide. But okay. uh, um, if you are... Um, if you're up for it, I'm sure people will probably reach out to you for questions as well. So be, be on the lookout for that. And sure. I'm monitoring the um, question, the Q&A box down here. I don't see any questions popping up yet. I do see that we've got several folks that have joined us, about uh, 13 people in the audience. Um, don't know if you heard it early on but we need to everyone to sign in in the audience chat box. And while we're waiting for the Q and A, um, let's see here, Rad, I don't actually see you on the screen, um, but maybe you're there. I'm still here. Okay, your voice <laughs> is there. So, just uh, want to thank everyone for participating in this conference virtually. Obviously, we're living in different times, and we're doing um, doing things very differently. I think this virtual conference has worked out very well so that uh, people can visit with vendors. We can hear presentations, see presentations, and the, the added value to this is that we can go back and and visit presentations that we missed or want to re-review. That's really something, you know, you can't do that in a live conference. So that's, that's a great thing, I think. Um, while we're waiting for Q&A, um, Brad, is there anything that you want to talk about um, or, or go back and revisit? We've got the time for it. So I'll turn it over to you for, for that. Uh, Lindy, I, as you know, we, we didn't see the presentation happening this morning as everybody else did, but I did take a little time to look over my slides and kind of remember some of the points that I hit. And um, a lot of times people are a little reluctant to get started with this technology. Um, you know, they're just a little bit overwhelmed when they think about soil moisture monitoring. So if, if they've got any um, curiosity about it at all, one of the points that I said during the presentation was just start with one. <laughs> just start with one sensor. Don't feel like you have to have three or, you know, if you've got a big orchard, uh, you know, 20 acres or more, you don't feel like you have to put, you know, one in every corner. Just start with one and really try to understand what that data is telling you from that one sensor. And um, it doesn't matter what brand or company you work with, that first one that you put in, you know, will really teach you a lot about how the technology is gonna help you understand what's going on with your trees. So that may be the thing I'd like to drive home the most is, uh, you know, just get started with, uh, with one in your orchard somewhere. And I think you'll begin to see how good a tool it is. Um, the other thing that I pointed out was that we're never going to get rid of all the tools we've always relied on, you know, a good old rain gauge on the fence post. Uh, you know, those things are not going to go away. There's a, 
there's an old Chinese proverb that I've heard that says the best fertilizer is the footprints in a farmer's field. So that was one of my other points. You know, we, you got to spend time looking at your trees, making sure all your irrigation components are operational and in good working order. And that, that just takes time being out there in the field, right? But to have a sensor out there, that sensor is working 24 seven. So, you know, even at night, or even in those afternoons where you got to be somewhere else or those weekends when you take off somewhere, those sensors are out there 24 seven, kind of keeping an eye on things when, even when you can't be. But uh, again, it's just a simple little tool that can help you keep a closer eye on what's going on with your trees and with your irrigation. That's great, Brad. That's that's good info. Um, I still don't see any questions popping up. I'm sh maybe you'll just be inundated with emails and texts and phone calls. <laughs> um, okay, last call. I appreciate all of you joining. Um, I, I see some folks here have been to almost every um, Citrus presentation, the, the folks that have signed in on the audience chat, I, I thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting the industry. Thank you again, Rad. And without any other questions, I think we can, um, Kath, I think we can disconnect from the web and folks just be sure to go visit those those different uh, educational seminars and attend the afternoon uh, meeting this afternoon with the uh, let's see I will take it I will take a second here to tell you guys about the there's a board meeting um, a, I'm sorry annual business meeting at 515 today um, and there's also the Georgia fruit and vegetable growers 25th anniversary kickoff this afternoon during that meeting so if you can join us that'd be great thanks again everybody for participating and making this making this thing happen. So take care and y'all stay safe out there. Thank you, Lindy. Bye. Bye-bye.